back to the Tiggy Jaguar Show on the network. Yes, indeed, it is the world famous Jiggy Jaguar Show, the Rush Limbaugh of Internet Talk Radio, the master debater, the cunning linguist, the admiral of alliteration. Yes, indeed, all those lines have been stolen by other radio people, and I've stolen them from other radio people when they've stolen them from me, and it doesn't matter. But we're doing it here on the world famous Jiggy Jaguar Show, and uh, we've been talking about it most of the show. We have been having our various things that we're trying to get going, and uh, I didn't believe this music was that long. It is. <laughs> I love the bumper music that is so damn long. Um, it, it is the world famous Jiggy Jaguar you show, jiggyjaguar.com, livestream.com slash jiggyjaguar if you want to join us right now. And uh, hopefully she tweets that, and uh, she'll have massive amounts of people come in here, and uh, they'll blow live stream servers, and uh, we'll get complaints. Um, but which she's we, famous. Well, this, we already get a, complaints. This is a big guest. <laughs> a big guest. This is like Eddie Money. This, this is like uh, when we got Mike Massey. This is like when we got the Mushroom Head guys. Uh, this is like when we got Nikki Benz or... Uh, Ashton Moore or Jessica Drake, but uh, she is so much better than all of those ladies combined. Joanna oh. Angel on hey. the Skype. How are you, my dear? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good, actually. You uh, you are doing this the Topco Sales and Joanna Angel blow up doll video contest. Yeah. Uh, you can you can get more information at blowjoannaup.com. You can mm-hmm. see the current entries. You can make comments and vote on your favorites. The uh, there's there's all sorts of prizes. You can follow the Blow Up Doll on Twitter, MySpace, Facebook, YouTube, Vimo, and more. And uh, basically, create a video starring you and inflatable Joanna Angel, and enter it to win. Uh, videos yeah. should be fun, creative, not pornographic. Uh, you can take the Blow Up Doll on a date. You can introduce her to your parents. You can throw a mad tea party with her. You know, I should have, if, if I would have had a Joanna Angel blow-up doll, I could have taken, taken her to meet the Republicans yesterday at the Ramada. That would have been, <laughs> that would have been hilarious. You didn't have it? Okay. That would have been hilarious. I seen a guy driving down the street the other day with a real doll sitting in his uh, passenger seat. So People do that in Los Angeles to like uh, so they can go on the HOV lane where you have to have at least... <laughs> Two people in the car, <laughs> but they still get them busted. They'll, they'll, they'll put in mannequins and blow up dolls. And, uh, <laughs> now, okay, uh, yeah. Joanna, how are you doing today on this fine Sunday afternoon, my dear? I'm doing well. You're back from Australia, I um, understand. Uh, yeah, I went. I was in Australia about two weeks ago. It was really awesome. I had a, I had a great time there. Now, how did you get started doing this uh, whole porn thing? And will you get offended if I call you a porn chick? No. Okay, Jessica Drake does all the time. I don't know all why. Right. Oh, yeah. When, when I, I, I follow her on Twitter, and I made some comment about how we were going to go meet her at a signing. And I said I'm getting ready to go meet a really hot porn chick. And when I got there, the first thing out of her mouth was, Don't ever call me a porn chick. Oh. So... Well, I don't know. I, I think I am a porn chick. <laughs> <laughs> we gla- we're glad you are. <laughs> yes, uh, we're glad you are, Admit Joanna. To it. I'm now, not a school teacher. <laughs> 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 but you give instruction. <laughs> no, a school teacher would not have things like this. Rubber handcuffs. Joanna Angel... Give me those. Burning Angel toys. Look those at are kind of cool. Look at these. <laughs> you know. Now, a school teacher doesn't have those. Uh, <laughs> you are you are an amazing, uh, amazing hot chick. How, how, how the hell did you get involved in the adult film business? When I was in college. I um, take some naked pictures of myself and put them on the internet. Really? And then I had a website, and that is how I got started. And then the website grew and grew, and now, and now here I am. Did, did that? Did that help you get through college? 
<laughs> no, I did it at the end of college. Ah, uh, okay. She's you, not. She's not you like you used a your knowledge that that you, that you had gained from college for for this new yes. enterprise. Yes. I and it looks like and it looks like you're doing it right, of what Thank I understand. You. Yes, because now you're famous with this blow up doll thing. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> she she the was the of the doll. My doll is beautiful. <laughs> my doll is beautiful. Don't make fun of her. <laughs> now, uh, ex describe to me what sets you apart from some of the other porn chicks out there. Um. Well, I. Uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I own my own company. <laughs> Most of the other girls I know, um, you know, work for other people all the time. So that changes things a lot when you are constantly living in a world of of uh, giving other people money as opposed to going places and other people giving you money. I think that history a little bit differently um you know so you're, you're just the way you view things is a little different when you run your own business and that's the primary thing you do there are a lot of girls who do have websites and starting their own production companies but most of them um you know worked as like work for higher porn stars for a really long time before they started doing that and um, you know, I, I've had my own thing from the beginning, which um, I think is pretty rare for a girl in porn. Most girls start off, you know, working for other people, and then they start their own thing later on. So, so. Well, how, how important is the, uh, the tattoos and all the punk rock uh, look that some of your actresses and actors and you have in your, uh, in your, your films? I mean, that's, you know, it's just like saying how important it is. You know, having a certain body type and a certain look, you know, to be in a digital playground movie or something, you know, like, yeah. this, you know, my website is, is my version of what I think is sexy. Um, it doesn't mean you have to have tattoos to be on my website. It doesn't mean you have to have a certain colored hair, but it's just, it's just kind of the look and the feel. Um, you know, so we represent a certain aesthetic and we stick to it. <laughs> now you guys uh, over there at Burning Angel have some interesting toys. You have the uh, the punk ass, what is it, punk ass pink? You have you have these handcuffs. Yeah, that's. I love yeah. the, I love the handcuffs. One thing I think is great is that uh, and 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 it's it's just the fact that it's not the fact that I think the porn world is is ridiculous i just think it's great that you guys goof on each other all the time and what i think is great is that on this uh, on joanna angel's burning angel toys it has a picture of her it has her signature has all the different stuff and then it says waterproof it's it, like what come on of course they've got to be waterproof yeah, i don't know these are wa th th these are just another color of 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 the same let's see this Let's show our live stream viewers. <laughs> oh, yes. It's just another... They're pink. I've got you where I want you. Rubber ankle cuffs. Punk-ass pink. They're sturdy. They're thick rubber cuffs that won't cause bruises. I'm glad. And they're waterproof. And they're waterproof. Yeah, they're, also, yeah, and they're, they're kind of like good beginner handcuffs. You know, like if you <laughs> and a partner kind of want to, like, experiment doing something kinky, but you don't want to, like... Use like big metal cuffs. I mean, yeah. you could get out of them if you want to. So, somebody who's like hardcore into fetish probably won't enjoy the cuffs. But it's like, good. If you just want to experiment a little bit. Uh, Princess Natasha, a, a recent uh, lady, a professional dominatrix that I've. Uh, you went to Vegas to interview and, her, and I went to Vegas to interview her. Yes, she was telling me something about that. But yes, she. She has the, the, the line on all the toys, as she calls them. Yes, and <laughs> devices. <laughs> devices. <laughs> devices, <That's> yes. <laughs> now, uh, how, how successful is Burning Angel and your brand and everything? Because uh, I'll tell you, you guys are doing some incredible stuff over there. Thank you. Um, 
you know, honestly, we're not the biggest porn company in the world, but um, I'm proud of what we have, and we have a lot going on. And, um, you know, I think it's really cool that I just get to work for myself, and I don't have to work for anybody else, and that's a pretty big accomplishment. You know, like, I, I don't have to have another job. Um, you know, I don't have to work for other companies and use that money to support my own company. I just, you know, I just work for myself. So that's, that's successful to me. Um, yeah. yeah. Not a lot of people can say that in this industry, and that's uh, quite the accomplishment yes. to have kept it that way. Now, now, now you, uh, do you get accepted by the, the, the AVNs of the world and things like that, or are you kind of an outsider and it just really doesn't matter to you? No, I... I I've won it um I haven't won one in a couple of years but um you know winning awards is nice I can't I can't pretend I'm too cool for winning awards or I'm a favorite <laughs> or I care, you know like I try not to think about it too much but I've been nominated you know for between 20 and 30 awards every year you know for the past couple of years um yeah I've won a few awards. Oh, that's cool. Hopefully, I win some more. <laughs> now, uh, this this blow up doll contest. How did you come up with the idea to get? Uh, did Did you go to Topco? Or did Topco come to you, or, yeah, or how did this thing come together? Um, I don't know. I just I think it's pretty amazing that I'm I'm gonna have a blow up doll of myself. Um, and you know, I just wanted to make the most out of it, and. You know, I wanted people to buy the doll and not be scared of it. Like, I wanted to portray it as something fun, not just something creepy and weird, you know? So, I, I want... <laughs> creepy and weird. I want people to have fun with it, you know? So, I want I wanted people to buy the doll that, um, that maybe wouldn't have bought it before, and I thought this contest would, you know, would open people's eyes and, you know be able to get people to buy it for, like, kitsch value and not just to have it as a companion. <laughs> now, um, I was reading in the press release here, it says the blow-up doll became an animated became animated during a freak accident at Topco Sales, otherwise finally referred to as the Dildo Factory. Uh, Topco Sales is a world-leading sex toy manufacturer. While on the assembly line, the Joanna Angel blow-up doll allegedly came to life. The 2010 DVD Doppelganger documents... What went on that faithful day at Topco Sales? Have you seen this DVD? I directed it. So ah. I sure hope that I've seen I it. I sure she hope she's seen she it. She doesn't need to see it. You <laughs> lived it. You lived it. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh... Yeah, so I thought, it, you know, to, just to, to take it a step further, I thought when the doll came out, it would be fun to make a movie about it. So I wrote a whole... <laughs> storyline about the doll trying to take over my life and it's pretty funny is 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 it is is it got is, is it got a porn element to it or is it like yes it is a porn movie ah damn it and it is called doppelganger um, <laughs> i actually got one of the scenes at joannaangel.com so you can watch it there it's pretty funny and yeah. It tries to like take over my date and it tries to you know ruin everything for me it's it's a good movie now, uh, you, you, do, you do some amazing stuff with the, uh, uh, just, just with, with all your different products and the fact that you've been able to pretty much make yourself, um, you know, you, you, you work for yourself, you have your, your own company and everything. What is like a day-to-day -day, uh, operation in running this company like? Every day is different. You know, like, some days I'm just at home answering emails or planning out stuff for my next movie or having production meetings, you know. There's a lot of boring things that go into having a successful company, regardless of whether your company's porn or not porn. There's still a lot of number crunching and schedule making and, you know, and stuff that, that goes into, you know, that goes into running it. So some days I'm just on my computer in my PJs. You know, doing that, talking to my other employees, trying to coordinate things, making plans, you know, stuff like that. Some days I'm at conventions where I'm doing signings, some days I'm directing, some days I'm, you know, having sex on camera. Um, sometimes I have to go to meetings. So, I, really, every day is different. I, I don't have, 
you know, there's never a month that goes by where I do the same exact thing every day. Now, do you get involved in, like, the editing process and the, and the production process, or uh, is the directing and starring pretty much as, as far as you go with that? No, I, I, I'm, I'm right there when the movie's being edited, you know, and I always have final approval on everything. Um, me and my editor have been working together for so long now, he kind of just knows what I want, so, um, you know, so I can go off and do my thing, and I don't have have well, to like be or anything like that, but uh, you know, everything for the most part is is my vision, and well, everybody who works for me tries to tries to bring that across, and so yeah. Now, uh, cool, now, uh, I don't do that myself. <laughs> now, uh, when 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 you got into doing the uh, the porn business. Did did you ever think you'd get to the point that you are now with having a blow up doll and being just uh-huh. world famous and going to Australia and all the cool stuff you're doing? No, I didn't. I didn't think so at all. I mean, I'm very thankful for everything I have, and you know, I I want to make it last for as long as I can. Um, you know, I love what I do, and I never expected it to get this far. Well, uh, you 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 are an amazing talent. I. Uh, I don't want to come off like a perv, but I enjoy your movies. I enjoy your handy work. Oh, hey, that's not perverted. That's <laughs> if nobody liked my movies, then I wouldn't be here right now. So. Fans are fa- the word "fan" is just short for fanatic, and that's what you are, Jiggy. That's right. You're a porn fanatic. I'm a porn fanatic. And now that we've skyped this beautiful lady in we've now got porn on our website can that's you, right we, say that? we have officially <laughs> had porn on our website ladies and gentlemen it's better than that it's a porn star actress director editor uh, marketeer yes uh, owner of the company you know she's doing it right i got one question though <laughs> it's more of a decor question and it's real cool Right behind you, all those LPs you have up on your your uh, your wall are they like punk rock? Or are they just decorative? Um, yeah, I didn't want to put my good records on the wall, <laughs> <laughs> so it's really just decorative. I went to the thrift store and just bought a bunch of records and mailed them in the wall. Cool. So put my good rec. I still listen to my good records. So there's some funny ones up there. There's like weird classical ones and. Um, there's one album up there that's, that's called Jewish Party. I really like that one. Um, <laughs> that's I don't it. really know what it is because I never listened to it, but on the album cover it was just a, a bunch of Jewish people having a party. And I really like that one. And since I'm Jewish, I thought it was appropriate. We'll look um, it up and make it famous. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll do a whole show on it. <laughs> they're all just stuff I found in a thrift store for like a dollar so I can hang stuff on the wall because we shoot here all the but time but it's, it's way cool They uh, uh, Home and Gardens TV needs to come in and, and do you or you can do them she's good she's good <laughs> now uh you, you know, I, 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 with it being a political year and all, and all the different things that are going on, and they always talk about all the, all the, uh, the Al Qaeda and the Muslim extremists and things. They must really hate her because she's a porn star and she's Jewish. She is yeah. like on the top of their hit list. <laughs> they are. You are at the top of their hit list, my friend. It's true. <laughs> now. Uh, it, t- tell me about uh, some of the other things you got coming up. You 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 just got back from Australia. I'm assuming you got mobbed over there. Um, yeah, I have a lot of people come and see me. Um, I, next weekend I'll be at uh, the New Jersey Erotic, Exotica show. It's in Edison, New Jersey. Um, and you know I always say the best. I just I actually this week I was on Love Line. That was pretty cool. I got to meet Doctor Doctor Drew. Um, I always say the best thing to do, I, I'm always doing something, so I always say the best thing to do is just go to my website, go to BernieAngel.com or go to JoinAngel.com, and there's something new there every day. Um, if, if anybody's staying home for Halloween or just has some free time today, I made a parody of The Craft, it's called The Shaft, and it's a, it's a cute <laughs> movie about me and my friends evoking a spirit, and then 
having sex with it, and uh, it's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Watch for Halloween. So, so, so I you're would recommend it. So you're a little coven of Angel evil, Thunder. evil witches. You're evil witches, yes. Well, we're not. Well, one of us is evil. We're just lonely, so and we can't get a date, so we have to like bring someone up from the dead, so we have someone to hang out with. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> now, some some other things that uh, that that Topco has, which I think that this this is one of the. Uh, she has a rubber flogger whip. Have you seen this, Ross? Ooh, Have that's cool. This? Yes. Pink because my hair is black and pink. So that's why you made it in black and in pink. So, uh, what parts of the body do you flog then with that? <laughs> oh my God! Um, I would recommend doing it on your on somebody's butt. Okay. That's probably the safest place to do it. And then, um, and then she has, and th- th- this, is, this, this is kind of an, a nifty little uh, deal. A porn star, porn star nipple gems. Explain to me the concept of the porn star nipple gems. Well, because I you know, they're, don't have a clue. They're just they're just decorative, <laughs> you know. They're, they're decorative. They're kind of, I don't know. You put you put them on your nipples. You put them around your boobs, and it just looks cool. It just looks cool. Now, That's d- it. Now, mm-hmm. now, 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 do you do any, uh, any, are you, are you like some of these porn chicks that, uh, they have to go feature dance at bars and things, or do you ca- um, kind of stay out of that? Dancing, um, I don't get booked to feature dance very often because, I don't know, people don't like me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They'd rather yeah. see you. They'd rather see you on video than up on the stage. Is that? I don't know. It, maybe that's the thing. You I gotta, think a lot of strip clubs are just kind of old-fashioned, you know, um, and and they don't think that like, you know, most strip clubs. Their definition of a porn star is like somebody who has a contract with a big company or somebody who's been on a bunch of box covers for a lot of the big porn companies. I don't think they understand that like, my company is like. Real, I don't know. Yeah, but it seems like most porn girls dance forever. Like they dance till they're like fifty something. So I figured maybe one day they'll start calling. I've danced a handful of times and I always have a great time doing it. I love doing it. I love meeting my fans. I love performing. Um, it's a lot of fun. But I I don't get to do it as often as the other girls. But maybe one day we'll see. Now. Uh Real quick, let, let's talk about the uh, this 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 contest. You are going to judge these these videos that are sent in, or are you going to have someone else do that, and you're just going to have give final uh, approval, sure. or? And I'm going to pick the best one. This 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 is an amazing little deal, the Joanna Angel Blow Up Doll well, Contest. You guys really make a video. Everybody keeps telling me I love the contest, and then they don't make a video. So. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm. We we thought about making a video, but I don't know if anyone would get it there. Um, we were gonna make a. We were gonna make a video. We have a character from uh, Jiggy Jag TV. I used to do a parody of Vincent Kennedy McMahon from the WWE. I would dress up as Vince, and we would do things with Vince. And I thought about having Vince interact with the Joanna Angel blow-up doll, and I would send that That's in to you. Great. Maybe they should wrestle each other. And then, and then she might. Sue. I'm gonna get you, Joanna Angel. You're done. And you then, know we're then, all then like she might sue you for using a registered service mark. Service mark. And and it would then that really make you famous. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Or, or or we'll put jo- the Joanna Angel blow up doll in a uh, community access television of Salina Inc. hat and T-shirt. But then she might try to get him for a registered service mark. So. We're, we're currently feuding with our local access station over registered service marks, which they don't which own. Which they don't have. And I don't want to bring Joanna into that mess. So <laughs> she is a, she's just a nice, nice Jewish girl. Do an untrademark. That's right. You look like just a nice, good Jewish girl. A Druish princess. A Druish princess. <laughs> a Spaceballs reference. Thank you, okay. Ross. <laughs> Druish? She didn't look Druish. 
But uh, <laughs> Joanna Angel with us today. Blow up. BlowJoannaUp.com. Or go to JoannaAngel.com. You are you are an amazing, amazing individual. You're 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 you're, you're not like um, who's that one porn chick that uh, was hey, an asshole. There's there's a there's a there's a there's a porn chick that she her whole gimmick is that she's just an idiot, but she's not really an idiot. And I she's a know. real bitch, though. Yeah, isn't she? from what yeah. I've heard, okay. she's a real, real bitch. Yeah, uh, she don't do interviews. That's why I call her a, a biatch. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Joanna, I, I appreciate you doing this. Thanks for taking time out of your Halloween to join us, my friend. And hopefully, we can get you back sometime. Happy Halloween to you. Happy Halloween. You guys have fun. Enjoy your day. <laughs> definitely. Most definitely will. Take care. Talk to you later, Bye. Joanna. Bye. Bye. Joanna Angel. I love Joanna. She cut me off again. <laughs> well, we were done. We were, <laughs> we were done with it. Joanna Angel and the Joanna Angel blow up dog. Concert. So I was thinking, you know, like. Uh, Topco sales. The, uh, every once in a while we just call up people and live when we're live, you know. How we do that, <laughs> how we do that them, ad and stuff. On there. Uh, yeah, I've got all the contacts saved. Maybe we could just call up former people and say. Hey, you were live. We had some random guy call us during the Joanna Angel interview. And saying, oh man, my dick's so hard. So, we're going to call them hey, back. Yeah. <laughs> Three, four, two. We're calling him back. We're going to call him back. <laughs> 39 minutes past the hour, you're listening to the world-famous Cheeky Jig White Show all over the damn place. And uh, porn stars, porn stars, porn stars everywhere. Porn on the website. Porn. We have officially <laughs> accomplished Marge's on the website. Skull. Hey, what's going on, brother? I was just calling you back. What's up, yo? Oh, uh, no, I was trying to see um, how do I get into that file on my computer. I mean, what is there? I'm not trying to figure out, is it, should it just pop up or something, or what does it do? Uh, let, let me give you a call here in about 20 minutes, and I'll fill you in on that. Okay. All right, brother, I'll talk to you then. All right. All right, hey, cool. peace. Bye. <laughs> Samaj, trying to get Audacity going. <laughs> this is not the Easy Helping You show with Big Bob. I don't do, I don't do tech calls on the air. You That's right a Big click, Bob thing. You right-click, and then you... Uh, Open. Yes. I made a reference to Easy Helping You. If you get a chance, listen to that. 10 o'clock each and every Sunday morning on kjagradio.com. What does Thomas Lamb... <laughs> What does Thomas Lamb call you? The the toothless fairy the toothless or something? Or something? No, that's crazy. <laughs> that that would be Tracy Sin if we hit him. He'd be a toothless fairy. Tracy, the 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 transvestite yes. from last night. The transvestite in the Ann clothing. <laughs> in the Ann clothing, complete with heels. It's like, oh God, Tracy, don't let's not talk too long. Oh, you need a shave, dude. Tracy <laughs> uh, what was it? Thomas called me. Thomas Lamb did not like that. If if you people don't know who Thomas Lamb is, Thomas Lamb is a jerk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's a guy who has a magazine called Mega Metal Magazine. It's actually more like a newspaper. I liked your version of it. Mecha Metal. Mecha Metal. It, right. It's like Mecha Barbara Streisand. Like that <laughs> Like that South Park. <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Thomas um uh, Thomas basically he he ha he has a Twitter account much like uh you know everybody and their brother has he's a has, tweet fuck has, has 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 a Twitter account and they and they primarily use it as a way to basically promote their brand and um you know it it's it's just an extra little deal it's kind of like you have a Twitter account Ross but you never use it yeah. it's just a price to promote your videos well he has a mega metal Twitter account. It's twitter.com slash mega metal. And 
when you go up into the um, the information on his Twitter account, there the name is Thomas Lamb, the location is Kansas, but the website is dot m e a m e a l magazine dot com. Mia Meal Magazine dot com. <laughs> that is his official website, apparently, because that's what it says in the Twitter. He's following 790 people. He currently has 241 followers, and he's listed nine times on the internets. Now, um, the internets. The internets. He is listed nine times. Now, if you go over and you look at Thomas Lamb's. Why don't we do this? He he calls me an internet wannabe DJ. Now I currently have um, 332 followers compared to his 241 followers um, on the Facebook. We love the Facebook. The Facebook, as cousin Chris says, was made by Satan. Um, <laughs> I currently have, if you go over and you look at Thomas Lamb's uh, Mega Metal Magazine um, Facebook page, he has 635 likes compared to, of course, our 502 likes, which it's not that big of a deal because it's a Facebook page. Who gives a shit? But, um... Uh, we love Thomas. Yours, he loves is, newer than, yours is, is newer than his, though. Well, that it? too. He's had he's him a been lot he's been than doing mine. it, and he's yeah. been you know he's putting out that been, he's been putting out that newsletter for so many years, and I guess he's printed out one or two, <laughs> you know, one or two. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a one page thing, a cheap three column fucking thing. Yeah, it's a newspaper. He, he and, did and, on, and he does and he does a good job, and we love him. And, and a lot of it's all pirated content from other websites. He, that, it's but plagiarism I gotta, and all the stuff. I gotta hand it to him. Yeah, he he weasels his way into fucking concerts and pulls an Ann all the time. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he's got a pretty sharp little website. Yeah, and that's the thing. The, the only problem with it is uh, if he goes to see, you know, like uh, Taylor Swift or somebody, you know, I could just see him calling the record label. Uh, hi, I'm Thomas Blam of Mega Metal Magazine. Can I come see Taylor Swift? Can you get me in there free? <laughs> and they're going to be like, no, you're a metal magazine. Right. See, see that that's the thing. He has... He should have something like afreshentertainmentmagazine.com. <laughs> Can you remember that? <laughs> <Can> you remember <laughs> that? <laughs> No, let, let's 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 do that. We we've got we've got fifteen minutes left to go in the broadcast, and we've covered pretty much everything. Let's do a comparison between Ann Sheever from AfreshEntertainmentMagazine dot com and Thomas Lamb from MegaMetalMagazine dot com. If you look at the way that these two are put together, you have um, MegaMetalMagazine dot com. Let's say for it. Well, yeah, let's start with Mega Metal Magazine. You have Thomas Lamb. The guy's been in the business as long as I've been in the business, even though he says it was got established 1989. Okay, that's fine, Thomas. Uh, oh, whatever. Um, oh, I'm getting texted. Maybe I'm getting texted by Thomas Lamb. He's like, you better shut up, motherfucker. I'm listening to you. <laughs> i got a camera with me at all times. Uh, yeah. Who is that? <laughs> it's, it's 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 more drama from McPherson that has something to do with <laughs> the night of a thousand ex girlfriends. But um, so is there another costume party somewhere tonight? I don't think there is. I'd like to go as Willie Parks. I'd like to try to get that in before, before <laughs> the black Halloween one? is up. The black, the black one. one. <laughs> I want to go to the black one. Now, um, Thomas has you go over to MegaMetalMagazine dot com. Now, first of all, he's already cut his he already cut his foot. You know, he, he can't get into Taylor Swift. He can't get into a, a Blues Masters, which uh, we won't even get into that here. We'll do that uh, next week. Well, I thought he was probably um, banned from the Cotillion. No, he's buddies with the Cotillion. He's buddy buddy. He made with his way Richard back in the there. Cotillion, yeah. He got banned from Live Nations and AEG, but Ann helped him get back in there. Um, basically, you go over to MegaMetalMagazine.com. It it it. It sounds good, you know, MegaMetalMagazine.com. It all flows. You go over, and he's got his intro on the front. He's got a couple sponsors. He's got a mailing list. He's got a counter, which uh, I think they're probably made-up numbers. Um, he's got featured interviews. He's got, you know, upcoming concerts. He's got a face. Yeah, find us on Facebook. He's got all this stuff. 
and you get in to his website, you enter here, you know, you, you know how to get in there, and he's got things sectioned. He's got a music news, interviews, local scene, horror zone, he's got all these things. He's got a contact section. When you get over to the, the Contact Us page, he's got, you know, badges for Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, YouTube, Flickr. He's got his staff. He's got proper titles. Some of them have email addresses you can click on. He's got a phone number. He's got an email address. He's got a way you can contact him. And That's then, why Ann's got a Flickr account, because Thomas Lamb has a Flickr account. Exactly. Okay. And then <laughs> you go over to AFRESH, entertainmentmagazine.com. First of all, it doesn't, it doesn't flow well. I have had, I don't know how many bands we've done interviews with that have said, What? What? <laughs> We're reading what? We're watching what? And we finally, it doesn't had, to, flow we finally well. had to do her IDs as just... Just tell the bands. Just you're watching a fresh eat TV. Yeah, and that's yeah. And okay, just, I can. I think I might be able to remember that. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> it doesn't. It, it her 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 name doesn't flow well. You go to her website. She's got like fifty fucking tabs up top. <laughs> like four levels of tabs. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> All of them with drop downs. With it's a circus over there. She's got recent posts, which. Uh, I guess a lot of it's all press releases. But play that first part of her, of her video. Hi, I'm Ann Cheever. <laughs> yeah, you know, Hi, I'm Ann Cheever. <laughs> <laughs> I like her voicemail. I'm gonna have to record her voicemail and play it on the air. That is what's funny. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ann Cheever. Me, the art professional. <laughs> the bottom line is with Ann is that she's chasing Thomas and she wants to be Thomas. So bad. But in turn, Thomas is chasing her and wants to be her so bad. Because she gets into country shows, she gets into Blues Masters, she gets into here, she gets into there. Thomas has got to get into there. Thomas has got to do this. She did a thing where she did, um, on her website, she did a deal where she had her husband make a top ten iTunes video. And then Thomas had a top ten music video on his Facebook page. And... They go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I, uh, both of you, I want to and both it, of you sit down right now. I have something to say to them. It me. is kind of weird just before you say you, what you need to say yes. to them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that um, Anne really never liked hip-hop or never really liked country until we started getting big country acts. Exactly. And then all of a sudden, and the oh, this is, this is, this is a whip. This is a way for me to get Thomas Lamb because he won't do that. He can't do country because he's even, making metal. Even though I don't like country. Yeah. I'll go do it. <laughs> yeah, <so. laughs> okay. But before I get into my advice, you've, you've, you've been watching all the, you know, the, the website comparisons and things over here. From 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 your news desk over there. Yes. Tell me what Ann should do and what Thomas should do. Give me your thoughts, and then I'll give you mine, and then we'll say bye-bye this week for the world-famous Jiggy Jaguar show. Well, I would say Thomas Lamb should probably play Russian roulette with himself with six bullets in the gun. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> No, Thomas Lamb should basically just keep doing what he's doing with his website. That's his strength. Oh yeah, that is his is his strength. Yeah. Um, forget forget the magazine, forget the newsletter, uh, forget that shit. I know, and yeah, you can use your whole, you know, your body of work to get into fucking your fucking, you know, scream at the devil shows or whatever <laughs> that you're going to, uh, you know. <laughs> Hello shows Sunday Sunday Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> right, go ahead. It's got, his his website works. Right. It unbelievably works. Yeah, it's a pirated bunch of shit. Maybe he needs to work harder on like uh, his own skills, like um, oh, doing interviews and you know writing up a good story from you know just. He's a, always prepared. Right. When you watch a Thomas Lamb interview, like I watched his mower interview he did Friday at America's Pub, he knew everything about the band, what they were up to, what their latest album was. He's prepped. Sometimes it's just a simple thing of. Quickly reading Wikipedia for two minutes of your life and preparing yourself. 
that's many times that's all it takes. He's prepped and prepared. So um, he comes to you know though he looks like some greasy fucking hell. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, by judging by his picture, he comes in looking like a professional. He's got his his his. He's got a badge. He's got his camera. Right. He's, he's got, got a, all his equipment. He's got, he's got people ready to go. He's got. He's got an passes. external flash unit on his camera, which is the one sign that at least tells me that this is just not a hack with a fucking you know uh, a camera phone. Yeah. This guy takes his photography ser- seriously. He spent another hundred, two hundred bucks on a external flash unit. Knowing him, he probably stole it. Or uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it's, uh, but he's got one. He's got one, and he uses it, and it, and he does get oh, acceptably almost kind of pictures. Yeah. Uh, he needs to give it up on video interviews because he's not with it there. He's worse than Hank the Mechanic. Both in, <laughs> uh, both oh my the, God! Uh, I mean, yeah, you might as well give it up in the, you know, uh, yeah, Jiggy is our toothless wonder here, but you know, come on, man, it's just like. <laughs> uh, but I got porn stars. Yeah, <laughs> on the website. <laughs> Okay, so that is my assessment of the good of Thomas Lamb, I guess. What is, what is the assessment of your good for Anne? Um, she needs to get better. <laughs> okay. At everything. At everything. Actually, she needs to, uh, and this is all, we're going to keep it brief about Anne because yeah. it's just so bad. The, the, the website just so speaks for itself. You can't find nothing. It's just this hodgepodge of... And she's got all these sites. She must have a dozen dot-coms that oh, she's yeah. paid good money for. Oh, yeah. And she's got all this web space and all, but uh, there is no porthole site. There is no nothing. Uh, and a fresh entertainment mag. Okay, we're going to stop on that. It just speaks for itself. <laughs> just, just go there if you can remember the... If you can spend the time to type in a fresh entertainment magazine dot com with the burp in the middle of it, okay. And what Ann needs to do is stick with the photography. Yeah, she needs to get an external flash unit so she looks less like a hack when she goes in, and she needs to take better pictures. She needs, and yeah. sometimes all that means is taking a picture from a different uh, um, vantage point. Yeah, you might have got there three hours early, Ann, and have waited at the front rail so you can be in the front during, you know, uh, the the Poison Tribute Band or whatever that you're doing, whatever trips or trigger as for uh, 80s metal music. Um, uh, yeah, 80s metal music. It's kind of a uh, uh, one of those music genres that really doesn't make a lot of money anymore. Maybe you should uh, step your game up to that which is popular, that which is today, and less, you know, D. Snyder dying of cancer, what it looks like on his fucking reality show. Um, but <laughs> like the Freddie Mercury in the latter years. <laughs> um, so, Ann, photography. Uh, step your game up. Get more equipment if you have to. I don't know. That that doesn't that doesn't necessarily make you a better photographer. First, learn how to take the best pictures with the equipment you got. Do that well. Do that very well. Be as good as any of the journal photographers there are. Do what it takes to be a still photographer. If that means calling the building manager so you can get up on the roof to get a high shot of the parade underneath you, do it. You know, whatever it takes, Ann. Uh, be the best photographer you can, and you'll be useful to a great uh, variety of people who will yeah. enjoy your pictures. And um, um, that's just my take. I Wrap think up. I think first it was six minutes left to go in the broadcast. I want to thank everybody for joining us this week. But my assessment it's been a good show. My assessment for both of them is this: as far as Thomas goes, he needs to he needs to do. The website. I love the website. The website is fabulous. It's organized. It's got content. He needs to have updates as much as he can. He needs to use his website. He doesn't need to use Facebook as much, but he needs to use his website. If he could incorporate both of them together, he'd be ahead of the game. Because Ann doesn't know how to do that stuff. And from what I can tell, she's not really willing to learn. So, you know... Do the social network stuff. Get that stuff rolling, dude. And as far as um, 
doing the magazine, you know, if it's a necessary evil to do the magazine every once in a while so you can get into the cotillion to see, you know, shout at the devil music <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> you know, do it. You know, I, for many years, hated KJagRadio.com. I hated it. It was a necessary evil to be able to pump this radio show out. But over the years, I've been able to get it to where it's a cool site. We've got listeners. We've got people paying attention to us. We finally got a website that looks decent, and it works. As far as Ann goes, she needs to be a contributor. She needs to make sure she gets content on her website. She needs to stop with these press releases. You gotta stop with the press releases, and you gotta put up original content. You know, these guys both are on the cusp of doing some incredible things. And yeah, I went as Thomas for Halloween. Yeah, I, you know, we we, we, we made fun of Thomas on Halloween. And oh, ha, 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 ha. I went as Thomas Lamb. But realistically, Thomas knows I respect the hell out of the guy. I, I enjoy his work. I think what he's managed to be able to do being just a simple kid from McPherson is amazing. And uh, so keep it up, brother. No professional training or work or anything, and he's palmed his way into lots of good shit. We get together like this every weekend. <laughs> it's been a great show. Three hours, it's done already. Well, uh, I want to thank Ross Long for joining us this week with the live stream. Next week, we're going to be broadcasting from an undisclosed location. You won't know until 2 o'clock Central Time. We're calling, <laughs> it, we're calling <laughs> it the bunker. <laughs> the bunker. The bunker out on Beverly Drive. Oh, <laughs> I've said too much. The, uh... <laughs> Greed is good. Greed is right. Greed works. It's the weekend. No, 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 no. Jiggy Jaguar rocks the weekend. It is the world famous Jiggy Jaguar you show. I want to thank you for joining us this week. Check out RossLong.info. That is the place to be for the latest and the greatest from Central Kansas as far as videos, proof footage, everything. You will have all your needs satisfied at RossLong.info. Check out JiggyJagwire.com as well. Each and every day, the daily blog is updated at 11 p.m., 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. We have our live stream stuff. We're doing incredible things here. This is the place to be on Sundays. I thank each and every one of you for joining us each and every Sunday. And we'll see you next week here on the Goodbye. World Famous Jiggy Jagwire Show. Bye-bye. Now, if you'll excuse me. Goodbye. Good night. Signing off. Come to bed now. Okay. Email us at JiggyJagwire at JiggyJagwire.com.